Hello everyone, Frank here. I'm glad you're here. In this video, I want to show you the new grid view in PowerPoint for when we're presenting PowerPoint in Microsoft Teams. If you like tips like this, if you like learning how technology can help us learn and teach better, then go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Let's go have a look. Good old PowerPoint, one of our favorite ways of sharing information, either online or in the classroom. It's a great tool, and I'll do some other videos on, on how to use PowerPoint effectively. But in this video, I want to show you uh, how we can use the new grid view in Microsoft Teams so that I don't necessarily have to navigate through my PowerPoint slides sequentially. I can jump from one slide to another and really manage that experience quite a bit. And stick through to the end because I'm going to show you a number of different tools that we can use when we're presenting with PowerPoint in Teams, it's going to be quite useful for you. So here I am. I'm in a team. Myself, Bruce Wayne, we're in a meeting together and I want to present to Bruce. So I'm going to click the little share button here. Now here's my very first gotcha with PowerPoint. I can share my desktop, window, whiteboard, or PowerPoint. But before I share anything, if I have media in my PowerPoint, definitely want to click include computer sound. So that way when I play the media, the audience is going to be able to hear it. Now let's go into browse. Now I can upload from my computer, or in my case, I like to put things into OneDrive and then share out of OneDrive. Conveniently, I've just popped it into here and I have a PowerPoint for our VR field trip. So I'm gonna hit share on that. So here we go, pretty typical experience. If you've ever shared out PowerPoint in Teams, this may be familiar to you. A Couple of other gotchas here is, I don't want my audience navigating through the slides by themselves. What I want to do is I want to go up here and I want to click on there so that my audience can't move through the slides themselves. So I'm already starting to clean things up, making my presentation more effective. But boy, I don't have a lot of screen real estate here. I don't have a lot of room. Well, one way to reclaim some of your desktop is to go ahead and close the chat window or the participants window. Now, if you want that chat window there because you do want to have a participant or a chat window there, then you may want to keep that going. But that is a way of recovering quite a bit of space on your desktop. Now you'll also notice that when I did that, if I go back to chat, um, underneath here I have the ellipse where I can go in and show the presenter view. So when I do the presenter view, now you can see I've got a chat window, I've got you know my notes, my slide, upcoming slides, really get a good overview of what's going on. If I close my chat window, I even get more space here where I can kind of navigate my PowerPoint. But what if I don't want that? What if that's, you know, even that's too much? So I can go into the ellipse here and I can hide the presenter view. And now I've got a really nice clean environment where I can concentrate on what I'm saying. However, what if I want to jump to another slide? Well, what I can do is use this new grid view. So I'll go to slide and it'll give me this nice grid view. It takes a few seconds for those slides to populate. And now I can hop from slide to slide. So for example, if as I'm lecturing, I realize I want to jump right to the plane under the ocean. I can jump right there. And from an audience standpoint, let's just bring over a little web connected uh, participant here. So this is Bruce and he's connected. This is what he's seeing. So Bruce is just seeing the slide I'm on. And if I go out, and I'll just move that off to the side, I'll go into my slides here, I'll go to the shark, and Bruce gets the shark. So you can see that um, everything that I'm seeing here that I'm pushing out to Bruce is going to be there. But if I go to grid view, I'm just going to bring Bruce back again. See, he doesn't see that I'm in grid view. So Bruce is not going to see that I'm navigating my slides. All Bruce is going to see, if I click on the slide, is he's going to go directly to the slide that I'm currently on. So that way I'm, you know, controlling my presentation from here and Bruce is seeing exactly what I want him to see. I can also, of course, go back in, put on my presenter's view, grab my chat windows here, and I can still navigate this way as well, but it is a nice way to have that grid view available to me. There we go, the new grid view in Microsoft Teams. Super helpful. I hope it helps with your PowerPoint presentations. Again, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next videos.